Thank God for Charlotte's 21st birthday. Two weeks ago, amen. Yeah. So I thank God for being good, amen. Thank God. Uh, Lord, I was, you know, praying. Sometimes your, your children say, do this, you have a backup plan. So I thank God she came to me and said she's going to get certified in English and teach. So I said, thank God, more finances for the church. I said, you can do it at all the school now. There's plenty of free programs. So I thank God. I'm going to sing this song and sit down. Lord, well, I'll see y'all Wednesday. Got to go in tonight. But I get joy when I think about
say they hate the church but they make all attempts to close the church Amen. they don't say they hate Jesus but they go around and about defying all the instructions of Jesus right. when you defy divine authority you're going against God Almighty right. and now read the Bible says there's no power other than that which be of God so we have to understand supreme power rests in the hand of God. But when you don't believe, you develop an attitude that blames everything on God and nothing on self. Amen. So therefore, with that attitude of belligerence and hatred toward God, 
You try to go about to destroy the very messages of God. This is why you have the immorality in the world you have today. I never could figure out why nowadays you got to make a movie full of cursing. Right, what has profanity got to do with the movie plot? Right. <laughs> profanity don't win you no Oscar. Sure Your acting ability wins you an Oscar. Amen. Where you got to include profanity now? Amen. There was a day when I come up, you never heard of any profanity in a movie. Amen. And you never saw the bad guy win. Amen. That was on everything chicken and on purpose. Amen. The good guy always won All at right. the end of the movie. Watch the cowboy movies in old times. And the good guy always won. Right. Always out, out draw the bad guy. Uh, <laughs> he plugged the bad guy, not the bad guy plugged him. Amen. But today, you have an onslaught against immorality. When the Church of God was established, Constantine rose up to destroy and take away from the authority of God. And you wonder why God would allow such. But you see, through unbelief or disobedience within the individual, all kinds of things can take place. When God made humanity uh, to reflect his church, he gave them a set of rules and instructions to follow. But he never programmed a man to follow him and to live right. The decision to follow God and live right rests in your ability to make a personal sacrifice in following God according to the instructions you've been given. Amen. Now, if you destroy the instructions, then you don't have no rule to follow. This is what they have done now to the Bible today. They tried to overthrow it, tried to uh, add on and take away, and thereby decimating the church of God and the quality of character that must reflect the church of God. Now here in the book of Daniel, chapter, what did I say? Well, chapter 7, chapter 8 and verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Now the Antichrist that possessed the people today will speak great words against Amen. the Most High, against God. How are they doing that right today? They tell you you don't have to get holy. That's right. Some preachers even say there's no such thing as nobody going to hell. Everybody going to heaven. I say again, what is the principles of good and evil all about? If we're all going to the same place. If there's no reward for bad action, then there shouldn't be no reward for good action. But since the Bible has clearly described good and evil, wrong and right, clearly, so, therefore, there has to be a reward for those who do right and another reward for them who do wrong. Amen. So, the Bible is very clear concerning the adversary, Satan, and God. When Job was challenged and the devil challenged his character and he told God in a dialogue the reason why he won't sin because you got a, a web of protection around him. But if you take that web of protection away from him, I'll make him sin just like anybody else. God said, all right, I'm going to take the web of protection, the fence, Amen. the barrier, away from him, and then you go ahead and have your way. So he attacked Job in the natural way to his family, his possessions, home, afflicted his body. Y'all see the story today? Amen. But the Bible says Job did not sin against God. Nor did he open up his mouth against God. He said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. And blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So whenever the devil attacks you and you don't have a quality of character to stand, the devil will have his way with you. But you can't say that I'm going through this and going through that because God don't like me. No, God loves you. Right. But he wants you to love him back. Right. Right. But how can you love someone if they give you everything and it doesn't require anything? Amen. 
So God requires that you present your body as a living sacrifice. Now when you present your body as a living sacrifice, then a hedge automatically forms around you. And no matter how the devil attacks in the natural, in the spiritual, you he can't harm. So we try to understand and try to express the scripture. Difficult times are going to come, but that should strengthen your faith more. Amen. Not decrease your faith, but strengthen your faith. The more the devil attacks you, the more you stand up against the devil. And the more you stand up against the devil, the stronger God is in your life. And the more God is present in your life, you got more faith in the faith once you get it. And when I stand back, put on the word of God, they don't need to my own understanding. And I got the victory every time. Amen. 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 Get a victory without a battle, church. Amen. There has to be a fight. There has to be a contest. Right. And the Bible says that the devil will come and he'll even change times and laws. Yes. Law. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Read me that verse 25 again. And he, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the what? Most High. Wear out the saints? Listen, you're in a battle. Amen. And the devil is trying to weigh you down. How does he do it? By constantly attacking. How? Every, every way you can think of. You take your family, turn your loved ones against you. Right. Sometimes you attack your body. Right. Oh, hallelujah. Right. Sometimes you cause your faith to waver for a moment. A little doubt come in. Human nature. But if you live by the Spirit, you don't fulfill the lust or the desires of the flesh. Yes. So when the flesh comes in with natural conditions and natural circumstances, you get tied up in that spirit. Uh oh, devil, you are like it. Oh, what about the pain in your body? That's all right, I got the victory. What about the love ones in the kitchen? I still got the victory. What about everybody? You can sit for that. I'm still here. Oh, hallelujah. You make up your mind. Hallelujah. You want to follow the word of God. Hallelujah. In your heart, wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in Jesus. And you will not need your own personal feelings. But you can't have the victory without a contest. There has to be a fight. Hallelujah. And if you're in the devil, I'll be with God by your side. Show me where he lost the battle. Show me where he lost the contest. Anytime you have a law, the Hebrew people rebelled against God. But when they had their sorrow, they turned back to God. The Bible says he was heard of them. When Jehoshaphat made that mistake and joined hands with Ahab, hallelujah. When he saw his error, hear me close. When he saw his mistake, then he had to do something. He had to realize, now I got to go to the divine authority. I made the mistake. I can't help myself out of this condition. Amen. But I know somebody who can. Oh. Lord help me. Amen. I messed up. I made a mistake. I shouldn't be in the first place. I shouldn't be in no bar. Amen. How do you do that? I shouldn't be with somebody telling dirty jokes. Amen. How do you do that? When I make up my mind I'm going to be a separated people, then the devil can attack all he wants, but I still got the victory at the time. The Bible says he'll make war against the saints and to wear them out, discourage them. That's what war is all about. Right. You discourage them. One force is, is stronger than the other, and he got more cannons than the other, more guns than the other. He shoots louder, bigger bombs. But what about those who stay steadfast? Right. Amen. You. you don't retreat right. until the order comes to fall back. Amen. Well, what about getting overwhelming? Stand steadfast. That was on the way. Amen. I'm saying what they do in the military. Amen. And if you can believe in the military and you don't believe in God, then you're a foolish person. Yes. Because the military can always use the battle, but God can't. Yeah. Right. If you stay in the church of God, God ain't never going to let you uh, fall down to the devil. Ain't never going to let the devil go so far in your life. He's going to attack your body to such an extent, but sooner or later, the devil got to back off. Right, right. He's going to discourage you at a certain level, but he ain't never going to take away your true faith. Amen. If you got true faith. Amen. See, this is one thing you can't fake. That told you that before. You can't fake faith. Amen. You got faith or you, don't, or you don't have faith. You believe or you don't believe. If you believe God, and He already predicted, they'll make war against the church and Amen. tend to wear them down. But if you stand steadfast on the covenant promise of God, I told you many, many times, 
He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And God can't have a lie. Amen. And that's why the covenant that he said to Calvary's cross, I'm not going to leave you, I'm not going to forsake you. Yes, your church is going through. And you're going to continue to go through. Amen. Who's your church? People. Right, and we ain't got no building going through. Amen. Oh, you Amen. I'm talking about me and you going through. Amen. How come? Don't ask how come. It says thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Every test and trial, thank you, Jesus. No matter what it looks like, thank you, Jesus. I didn't question God after the first heart attack, why I had another, why I had another, but if he healed me in the first one, he healed me in the other. If he bring me in the end, he healed me in the other. Until my journey's over. And my journey's over. I can say like, with a Hezekiah, I fought a good fight. Amen. I kept the faith. How many? Somebody said that. How Paul. Many? Paul, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. Amen. Second Timothy. Amen. Brethren, this is all we've got to do is continue to fight. It's not about how strong I am. It's how strong Jesus is. Right. Wait. How strong Jesus is in your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Some take God at a certain level. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I believe you can do that. But, oh, no, you can't do that. What can he do? All right. Amen. But tell you, yeah. God's a healer today. Yes, God is a wind maker today. Yeah. And God will help you solve your problem, yeah. but he's not going to necessarily solve your problem for you if you don't have the faith to realize he is the problem solved. All right, Bob. Yeah. Now you see, yeah. I got a problem. I got a situation. How can I handle it? Trust in God. Amen. Amen. Oh, I got allowed this. Don't ask that question. Amen. That's a foolish question. Why are you allowed it? Why didn't you allow it? Who are you? He had something he was on earth, didn't he? Amen. Didn't he preach and many of them left him the same Amen. day? Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. So when we preach, we say, well, wait a minute. The church will be packed out, running over. God preached, he better preach it than me. Yeah. And you? Right. And you left him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you tell me they ain't gonna leave you. Are you serious? He wrote the book. He wrote the word. Yeah, right. yeah. He preached the word. Right. He didn't preach the word because he wrote the word. Yeah. And he left him. Yeah. <laughs> They'll do the same to you. Amen. But one thing's certain. You don't have to leave him. Lord. He right. said, Peter, we also know Peter said, Where can we go? You alone got the words of eternal life. Right. In other words, what, what, where are we going to go out there? How are we doing? Who, who got to help them to send us to? Who can protect us when we lay down to sleep? Amen. Who can protect us on the job and the scheme and plot? Every single day. Enemies everywhere. Lord, I don't have no friends in this place. No, you ain't got no friends in no place. Work place. You ain't got no, no friends except in the church of God. That's why we come to church often. Get a gas tank filled back up. Amen. I've been running hard. Driving the car all day. All right. I, I got I got to go get me a tank full. All right, amen. Some amen. premium. Amen. Now you got to know. Amen. You need some premium. Look. You need to sustain me. Amen. Take me where I got to go. Amen. Church, stay faithful. The Bible amen. already prophesied. They want to attack the church and wear out some of the saints. Cause some churches get discouraged and leave. But not the whole church. Right. See, God is for his church. And how does it go? They went out from us, but they were not of us. Amen. Had they been of us, they would no doubt have no stayed doubt. with us. Right. But they went out no. that they might be made manifest. That's right. They were not all of us. They were not all in the church. All that they were said in the pew, but they were not all in the church. Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be your bride when my way seems dark. Hold me by your side when my faith is wrong.
been truly blessed by a great prophet. Amen. It came out the book of Daniel. Amen. Amen. And right today, they're changing mm -hmm. the law of God again to a system that's against God. Amen. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And instead of, uh, like prophet said, they use so. Amen. Oh, abortion. They know it's murder. They say, oh, it's a woman's choice. It's your body. Well, why do you choose not to lay down in the first place? To get the baby, amen. Right. They want to kill the baby. But th this is, the again, the agenda I brought out earlier. By the Democrats and the lesbian persuasion, amen. Two men get married. Two women get married. Mm -hmm. It's sickness, amen. Right. And again, people are caught up in a, a vexation of, of, of justice and, and equality. And got all the young people, they, they, they just had a rally in Greenville yesterday. Yeah. For what? You can't bring a person back from the dead, amen. Rather, you need to be trying to get your own self saved, praise God. Bring your own self back from the dead. I'm talking about dead in Christ, amen. Right. But no, they want that agenda. We got to mark this person. We got to mark that person. What about marching for God, amen? Right. Amen. What about justice in, in, in the Bible, amen? amen? What about that? What about you following the Bible, praise God? The Bible says that we all do the same thing, amen. But the Bible is the most divided book ever, praise God. But they ain't trying to unify the Bible, oh no. They want the Baptists and the Methodists and the atheists, amen. The whole witness, the Mormons. I'll be up all day naming all these factions, amen. But thank God we're not going to fall to these people trying to change laws in time. It's been time a, 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 a child or a teenager they would never curse in front of an uh, older person. They never got a cigarette in front of an older person. Not an older person, one giving it. The light, amen. Give them the cigarettes. Buy them the beer. What has happened to America? They left the Bible. What happened to humanity? They left the precept of holiness. But we're going to raise the standard, amen. We're going to build that wall back up and proud about it, amen. We're going to be ashamed of the gospel of Christ, amen. I'll take that great prophet, amen, again, for that great word. Church be encouraged. Let nobody make you a saint for the cross of Christ. Nobody make you a saint. You never know hold, amen. Right. You ain't got a date. The world has a date, amen. You ain't got a style. The world has a style, praise God. All right. Now we all stand to be submitted. Man. May the Lord watch. Between me and thee. While we're absent. One from another. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Amen. God be with you. God be with you. God be with you. Until we meet again. Jesus. God be with you. God.